Hey, probability people. Uh, so are you ready to do some probability? Uh, I am. So I already did a little bit on the board behind me here, but um, that's all right. That was, that was another uh, exploration. But uh, we're going to look today at some more of those uh, more facts and features of uh, continuous random variables. Um, today we'll talk about percentiles and medians, and we may get into some specific distributions even. Okay, so um, let me just share the screen. Oh, by the, by the way, uh, I'm using Zoom now. I think, it, I think it's a far superior option. Um, there's a lot more things I can do. Uh, it seems to not be so grainy in the quality. And, and that's, those are all good things. So I'm gonna be using this almost exclusively, I think. So um, let's go into the presentation. Okay, I'm gonna go uh, full screen here. Okay, so what is a percentile? I mean, you, you probably have some idea of what that means. You've taken things like the SAT or the ACT and they've said, you know, well, uh, you're at the 93rd percentile and then somebody told you at some point that that means, you know, if you're in a room of 100 random people, then uh, you scored better than 93 of them. And uh, that's basically accurate, yeah. So, um, so what is a percentile generally? Um, well, we can actually describe it in terms of uh, in terms of things that we know about continuous random variables, and in particular, cumul cumulative distribution functions (CDFs) give us a more precise view of what a percentile is. So, let's take a number that's between zero and one. Okay, uh, that's a probability, and that's basically going to determine our percentile. Uh, and and you know if p is is one half, okay, then like the one then one hundred p meaning one hundred times p is fifty. So you would say the fiftieth percentile. That's why we have that one hundred p there. Okay, so the one hundred pth percentile, uh, c sub p. Okay, uh, we just have to, we have to give this a notation of some kind of the distribution of a continuous random variable is defined by, uh, it's the upper limit. So like I, I used the cumulative distribution function, which is right here, f, f of cp. And of course, that means I have to integrate from negative infinity all the way up to c sub p, right? It's, it's all the probability accumulated up to that. And I, I integrate the density, f of y dy. Okay, and uh, C sub P has to be such that when I, when I accumulate all that probability, what do I get? Well, P, I should get P. That should be the percentage of data that I get. Okay, so uh, the 93rd percentile, I would get, you know, 0.93 is what I would get over, her, over here. And it would, I would have to figure out what number I need to put up here to get 0.93. If I was at the 50th, percentile, I would need to figure out C sub P would, you know, the C sub P would be the number I would put here to get 0.5. Okay, and, and most of the time we report this number C sub P as the, as the percentile. And sometimes we say the percentile rank or something. I don't know what happened with this picture. Uh, they have this Greek letter, letter eta sub P as some kind of conversion got messed up here, but uh, that eta, eta is a Greek letter, eta, eta at P, that should be C sub P. So the whole point here is, here's my density, uh, here's C sub P right here, and uh, the area up to C sub P is P, right? C sub P is at the, uh, the 100p percentile, okay? All right. Now, you guys have heard of like medians before. So the median of a continuous distribution is simply C sub, you know, 0.5. Uh, it's the 50th percentile, okay? So you denote that by mu. So it kind of reminds you that it's, 
it's in some sense a type of mean, but you put a little twiddle, or a, I guess that's not technically called a twiddle, it's called a tilde, uh, on top of that um, to let you know that it's not exactly the mean or the expected value, it's, it's the median, okay? So of course, uh, you know, if you take the 50th percentile and you plug it in to the CDF, F of that by definition should be 0 0.5. Because remember, I go back here, F of C sub P, so C sub whatever the percentage is, uh, that should just give you P. That's the definition of C sub P. Okay, so the same thing is true here. M, M, M twiddle is equal to C sub 0 0.5. Okay, that's what the median is. Uh, so this, this problem, they, they want me to compute the median of checkout duration. Okay, that's, that's talking about uh, this problem back here, okay, where the cumulative distribution function was given by that. Yeah, um, so it was zero for x less than zero, uh, one fourth x squared for zero equal to or less than x less than two, and it was one for x beyond two. So it's a checkout duration. We're talking about library, checking out library books. Okay. So I'm going to briefly, I'm going to write this up here, and we're going to do some computation with it. All right. <clears throat> All right. So, and I'll, I'll expand the screen here after I copy this, right? So, uh, capital F at X, uh, the CDF for this thing is zero for X uh, less than zero. It is uh, one fourth X squared for zero equal to or less than X less than two. And it's one for X equal to or greater than two. Okay, so I just, straight up wrote down what it was, okay? Uh, so going back over here, I want the median, the median of checkout duration. So let's, let's uh, kind of open up the full throated screen here and figure out what's going on. So first of all, uh, well, uh, I have this thing in Desmos from from what we were doing last time. So we'll take a peek at that after we do this. But so I want the median, I want the median. So that means I want the place where the, where the CDF gives me half the data or 50%, right? So 0.5, okay? Uh, well, could that happen to the left of zero? I don't think so, right? And could it happen to the right of two? I don't think so, that's gonna be too big. So it would have to be a value that's somewhere between zero and two. Yeah, it would have to be some value between uh, zero and two, right? So f, f of mu twiddle, the median, would be 0 0.5. But of course, you know that mu twiddle has to be somewhere between zero and two. So I would be using this thing right here. So it would be. Uh, one fourth mu twiddle squared, right? And I would have to use this definition right here. So that means, like, if I multiply through by four, four times a half is two. So I get two is equal to mu twiddle squared. So what is what is the median? Well, apparently it's the square root of two. Okay, so that would be. That would be the 50th percentile, okay? Um, the square root of two, okay, how interesting. Okay, um, let's go back in here. Okay. Uh, okay, consider the probability density function for the continuous random variable this. Uh, to obtain an expression for the 100th percentile for this thing, for the 100th percentile for that thing. Well, I think, I think, unless I'm mistaken here, I think that um, we actually have an expression in Desmos 
let's see here. I think I think I have it still. I have an expression in Desmos. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, I think this, I think it's that right there. Yeah. Okay, so let me, let me get rid of some unnecessary things here. Okay. So here's that. Okay. Let me just make sure that's exactly what I want. Um, I think it is. Um, and I want the a formula for the pth percentile of this thing. Okay. Uh, let, me, let me get rid of, let me just make sure that's what I want here. Sorry, everyone. Get an expression for the 100 pth uh, percentile. Yeah, the 100 pth percentile. Um, okay, fine. Okay, let's, let's do it. Let me share this thing. Okay. Um, so I have the CDF sitting right here. Yes. So first of all, um, to the left of zero for this thing, I get, I get nothing. All right, and then all of a sudden for X between zero and five, I start to get some stuff. And then for X between five and 10, I have a formula for this thing, which is, which is this parabola right here. And then for X beyond 10, it's just one, right? We worked this out before, okay? We worked this out before. So, um, you know, what am I going to get? So let me just, let me just kind of copy this. Uh, CDF down, okay? So it's zero for X less than zero. What is it for uh, X between zero and five? Well, for, okay, so for zero equal to or less than X less than five, it is X squared over 50. And then it's some massive thing, okay? Uh, it's negative one plus two fifths X minus x squared over 50. And that's for five equal to or less than x less than or equal to 10. Okay. And what do I have for x beyond 10? It's just one. Okay, oops. For x beyond 10, it's just one. Okay, so there is my CDF. There's my CDF. And we actually came up with that last time. Okay, so. Let me uh, kind of put this on full screen mode right here. And I want to, I want to use this CDF to come up with a formula for, for various percentiles. Okay. Um, hmm. So let's think here, let's, let's, let's do C, let, let's do the median first. So the median, okay, so what about the median? Uh, well, the median has to be something that um, the median has to be something where I've accumulated 50% of the area so far. A okay, 50% of the area so far. And I think if you, if you think about this for a minute, um, okay, so uh, like X squared over 50, if I plugged in the square root of 25, which by the way is five, if I plug that in and square it, I'm going to get one half. Do you see that? Okay. And similarly, if, if I were to plug in five into this, into this definition, because I could plug in five here or here, and I'm going to get the same thing because it's a continuous, uh, uh, the CDF is continuous, right? It doesn't matter whether I plug in five here or five here, I'm going to get the same number because they meet at the same spot. Okay. But uh, so if I so if I plug in x equal to five, I get I get uh, I get 
50%. Okay, I get one half. So that means that mu twiddle is equal to five. Yes, so the median is equal to five. Okay, so that means any other percentile, like any percentile that's below the median, which definition would I be using? Well, uh, you know, if I, if I wanted a percentile that was something smaller than the, the 50th percentile, I would be using this definition right here. And what about, what about beyond the 50th percentile? Well, if I'm beyond the 50th percentile, I'm beyond the median of five, and I would be using this definition right here. This definition right here. Okay, which of course this one's going to be a little bit a little bit more complicated. Okay, a little bit more complicated to work with. This one's going to be fairly easy to work with. Okay, so for instance, I don't know. Let's just let's just do like an example, uh, one example. So like, if I wanted to do c sub point uh, twenty five, that means the twentieth percentile. Okay, well that means that f of this would be equal to 25%. This is, this is so-called uh, the first quartile or the 25th percentile, okay? So, uh, so what would that be, okay? So F of this would have to be 0.25. That means it's gotta be less than, less than five and above zero. So it's gotta be in here somewhere. I would be using this formula. So I would get 0.25 equals, let me just make sure you can see what I'm doing here. This thing equals, I would use the second definition, C sub 0.25 squared over 50. Know what I'm saying? C sub 0.25 squared over 50. So that means that C sub 0.25 squared is going to be equal to uh, like 50 over uh, like one fourth of 50. Okay, one fourth of 50, what is that? That's, uh, that's 12 and a half, right, 12.5. So what, what is C sub 0.25, the 25th percentile? Well, it's the square root of 12 and a half. Okay, so I just, I just wanted to kind of point that out, okay? Um, and, and, and look, I, I won't go into the details of the other one. Uh, there's, some, there's some fairly, in-depth things one would have to do. I mean, you, you would have to like complete the square, which is uh, something that strikes terror into the hearts of, uh, of all mathematics students. I love it, but uh, that's because I teach math. Uh, you would have to do that to actually figure out what, what the percentiles were uh, if you wanted a percentile beyond the 50th percentile. You would need to do either, <laughs> either you would have to use the quadratic formula and you would have to solve an equation using the quadratic formula, or you would have to kind of complete the square and solve it that way, okay? But uh, we've at least found the median and the, and the first quartile, the 25th percentile in this particular case, okay? So I think I'm gonna stop this right now um, and, and have this be kind of a, a, a little breaking point before we move on to something, uh, before we move on to uh, the next topic. All right, stop right now.